All right, so this one's uh, straightforward like that one. All right, so here we're going to calculate the molar solubility in the presence of a common ion. Okay. So what is the molar solubility of CaF2 if we have a, in a solution a containing 0 0.1 molar sodium fluoride? All right, so one thing we're going to need for this is the KSP. So we would be given the KSP for this. And it means I gotta look up a KSP. Because it's not here. Can it be done without the KSP? Uh, no, because we're gonna need to set up an ice table. KSP. All right, I'm getting 3.9 times 10 to the negative 11th. All right, so last time, or previously, we calculated molar solubility of a compound given its KSP. This is going to be really similar to that example, except for one change. All right, and we'll see that. Okay. So let's think about our equilibrium. System, we got CaF2 solid in equilibrium, calcium 2 plus plus fluoride. Then we need a uh, equilibrium expression for KSP. What do we need? It needs to be balanced. 2F minuses. All right. So I did that on purpose so you could remind me, but then I forgot I did it on purpose and then started going <laughs> on with the rest of the problem. So thank you for uh, stopping me. I don't know how that counts, whether that, that's a mistake by me, but we'll go. So calcium plus 2 times fluoride squared. I won't set myself up again. <laughs> so I'll just do that right off the bat. So we got the KSP. Find out the equilibrium concentrations. Been there, done that. Small change coming ahead, though. I'll set up my ice table. Now, of course, I'm going to work on this part. All right, so before I throw calcium fluoride, into solution, what's my concentration of calcium? Zero. 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 So what's my concentration of fluoride? 0 0.1, good catch. Because that solution was already containing 0.1 molar sodium fluoride. So there's already fluoride in my beaker that's <coughs> wavy because we're on Bodie McBoat face. So, yes, I can't explain that. <laughs> Would you like me to? Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I can. I can and I will. All right. I don't know if you just wanted me to brag about it. But, yeah, I can explain a lot. All right, so here's our beaker. We already have 0.1 molar sodium and fluoride swimming around. Wouldn't that make it a reaction cell? Product? Well, the fluoride. The fluoride is a product in calcium fluoride. It's already there. So the fluoride is a product, and it doesn't matter where the, where the fluoride comes in there, that's my concentration of fluoride. All right? So there's 0 0.1 sodium and fluoride. Because, of course, you know, sodium, it's soluble at least up to 0.1. So, and of course it dissociates into fluoride and sodium. So I've, I've already got 0.1 fluoride in there, 0.1 moles per liter of fluoride, and now I'm adding some K calcium fluoride as well, and I'm gonna try to figure out its equilibrium concentrations. That is the only difference. We gotta realize that it's going to initially contain 
whatever the common ion is. It's the only small difference. It's a big difference because you've got to realize it, okay, but that's the only difference. After that, it's all the same. What's going to happen to my concentration of calcium? It's going to go up. After I throw up, I'm going to throw in some calcium fluoride. So yeah, it's going to go up, going to go up by X. What's going to happen to my concentration of fluoride? It's going to increase by 2X. So even though there's already some in there, it's still going to go up if you get more fluoride from calcium fluoride. All right, 0 plus X is X. 0 0.100 plus 2X. Let's throw these in there. So I got KSP equals X times 0 0.100 minus plus 2X squared. Uh-oh. I'm going to have an X squared and an X. What's that quadratic formula again? X equals B plus or minus a mole two. Yeah, that's that's it. Something like that. I should probably start writing that down because we're going to need it. X is small. Wait, what? X is small. Can we do that here? Yes. So KSP is three point nine times ten to the negative. That's some good acting, by the way. I mean, you, I mean, at least. 3.9 times 10 to the negative 11th. So, but can I do it when I add x? Yeah, I can do that. That's like, okay, Bill Gates worth $90 billion. It's like giving him $20. I mean, I'm sure he'd take it, but, you know, it's not going to make a big difference. So, yeah, we can use the x's small approximation here as well, just to get rid of that plus 2x. No, we can't get rid of, we can get the, yeah, you can get rid of that too. Because if you turn that x to 0, x times 0 is it. So now our KSP is equal to x times 0 0.100 squared. What's that? Why did we get rid of that x? Because that's going to save us a lot of algebra. And that's, then we can do it. You don't have to do it. You can do the quadratic. All right, so now what do I got? X times 0.01. So X is going to equal KSP 0.01 squared, or 0.1 squared, divided by 0 0.0100. So X is going to equal KSP, what, 3.9 times 10 to the negative 11th, all over 0 0.0100. Isn't it just going to be 3.9 times 10 to the negative 13? I think the other way. Oh, okay. 3.9 times 10 to the negative 9. Because that's uh, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2, negative 2. And that x is our molar solubility. So that's what we're looking for. So the molar solubility of calcium fluoride is 3.9 times 10 to the negative 9. <coughs> now I know what you're thinking. That's the concentration at, with the common ion. You're probably thinking, what's the concentration without it? Well, you can do that at home. So to redo this problem without that point 0.1, then you can compare and tra contrast to see how much of a difference it made. And then you can talk to your friends about it and tweet it. <laughs> <laughs>